Welcome to Ignani.com. C Programming. Chapter 2 Getting Started. To communicate with a computer, you need to know the language it speaks, and that rules out the languages that we humans use. There are various languages with which we can communicate with a computer, and C is one of them. As we do with any human language, it's better to start with learning alphabets instead of directly jumping with a sentence. First, let us learn the alphabets, then we can form words, which can then be grouped to form sentences. In this chapter, I will introduce you to the characters used in C language, will continue it with keywords, and end with a simple program. Characters in C, when I say characters, I am referring to those alphabets, numbers and special characters that is accepted in C. All the alphabets from A to Z, in both upper and lower case are accepted. The digits from 0 to 9, and a host of special characters as given below. variables, constants, and keywords. When we mix one or more characters supported by C, it becomes either a variable, constant or a keyword. It's better to start by understanding why they are different rather than knowing the actual words. Let me start with variables and constants and what they mean in C. As in English, even in C, they mean the same. Variable is something that varies or changes, while a constant doesn't change. It's better to know about programming first before starting with C programming. So I would suggest you to check out our videos on computer programming. Computer memory is made up of cells, also known as memory location. A set of 8 bits are known as a byte. Most modern computers are byte addressable, with each address identifying a byte of storage. If you think computer memory as a series of bytes, each address in memory holds one byte. If our computer has 1K of memory, then it would have 1024 elements in the memory array. A program is all about calculations. All the values and its result are stored in computer memory. Though each memory location is given a physical address, which the CPU can use to access it, for us programmers to easily access them, we give them a name. Thus, a variable or a constant is a name assigned to a memory location used to store information. For example, a value 5 is stored in a memory location, which we name it as X. In our code we can use X to refer to the memory location or to access the value in that memory location, as in this printf statement. Now if we store a new value say 8 in the same memory location, the old value will be replaced, but still the name given to the memory location is X. Since the value stored in such memory locations may change, the name given to such locations are called variable names. In other words, the location name which can hold different values at different times is known as a variable. If the value can only be stored once and if it cannot be replaced, then such location names are known as constants. Types of constants in C. Constants in C can be broadly divided into two categories. Primary constants, and secondary constants. Primary constants are further categorized as, integer, real, and character constants. Secondary constants are further categorized as, array, pointer, structure, union, enum, etc. Variables are classified in the same way as constants, except that their values can change during program execution. I will cover these in detail later on in this tutorial. Keywords in C. Keywords or commands, are words that have special meaning to the C compiler. These are the words whose meaning has already been defined to the C compiler. You cannot use a keyword for a variable name. If you use a keyword, you will be trying to give a different meaning to the keyword, which is not allowed in C. There are a total of 32 keywords available in C, which have been listed in the table below. Auto. Break. Case. Char. Const. Continue. Default. Do. Double. 
else. Enum. X turn, float. For. Go to. If. Int. Long. Register. Return. Short. Signed. Size of, static, struct, switch, type def, union. Unsigned, void, volatile. And while. In addition, the C99 version of C programming language standard, adds five new keywords. Underscore bool. Underscore complex. Underscore imaginary. Inline. And restrict. In addition to the above, some compiler vendors provide their own keywords. Though it has been suggested by the ANSI committee that every such compiler specific keyword should be preceded by two underscores, there are vendors who ignore these rules. I will cover all these keywords in detail, as and when we use them in later chapters. In my next article, I will start with a simple program, and continue it with a detailed explanation. You can find, a lot of free video tutorials, training materials, how to videos, and much much more at our site www.ignani.com. Post all your questions at our site. We will be happy to help you. We want your learning process to be as interactive as possible. Feel free to contact us.